Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. What a hell of a day yesterday. How y'all feeling? I'll tell you what, I'm still as excited as ever after what seemed surreal at the time is sinking in further and further. XRP has been declared not a security and it's been relisted on a ton of exchanges. So still I see, and I understand why, I see a lot of people on social media being like, what the hell is wrong with XRP in terms of price action? Was that the whole rally? It went up to 90 cents and then cratered back down, got into the upper 60 cent region. Um, I think that's as low as it went. Let me check here. Yeah, so yeah low of 67 cents within the last 24 hours. Uh, and sure, yes, these prices much better than when it was in the 40 cent region. But we're talking about legal clarity. We're talking about the only large cap coin on the entire damn planet with legal clarity. Even Bitcoin doesn't have that. That was the rally? Uh, well, I understand why people might be concerned, and I understand uh, why people might be thinking along those lines, but, uh, folks, I don't think this is the end of the run. <laughs> okay, I really don't. I think that this is, in all likelihood... Uh, just the beginning. Not a guarantee, but I, I, that, that would be my strong suspicion, and I want to flesh out the reasons why. But uh, before going further, I do want to be clear, I do not have a uh, financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice, and you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto-related topics, but just as a hobby and just for fun. Uh, and also, I wanted to note uh, the cryptocurrency exchanges, here's the, the the total list, as far as I'm aware anyway, at this time, of the U.S. exchanges that have brought XRP back. So it would be, <coughs> excuse me, be Coinbase, Kraken, Crypto.com, Bitstamp, uh, BitGo, Binance US, and on top of that, Jim and I said that they're looking into it, and uh, the Winklevi, they, uh, that's the plural form of Winklevoss, uh, they <laughs> hate XRP, they always have, and even they're like, yep, <laughs> we're looking into it, so I wouldn't be surprised to see that. So this is fantastic to see. Um, you even have the likes of Peter Branch, who has literally called XRP a scam. He's mocking uh, Gensler over this loss, uh, and he, he is, by the way, even before this, he was anticipating that there's a good chance that XRP is going to run like crazy, just based on what he had seen in the charts. In fact, there's this tweet from, what was it, June 27th. He said, case can be made, XRP is getting set for big run up. And so, yes, happy to see the run up yesterday. It was exciting, but I think people are getting a little bit down just because it's uh, come back down somewhat quickly. But I don't think it makes sense to, to be worried about that. So I just wanted to add some, uh, some perspective here. Because uh, things don't happen overnight. And I was talking a little bit about this even before, you know, a couple, probably two or three days ago before the ruling, and I, I was just kind of speculating about what might happen. I said, look, I don't know, and on top of that, I don't make price pr predictions. I'm not a TA guy, but I have experience holding crypto and uh, you know, looking at the gyrations uh, from pr uh, on, you know, in terms of price on a day-to-day -day basis and over a long period of time, because I've been in crypto since November of 2017. Uh, and let's just say there's way more money in crypto today than there was back then when I first jumped in. But but even though you can have individual jumps on, you know, big jumps in a single day, the truth is, if you just zoom out on it, just zoom out on a damn chart, things tend to not happen instantly. So that's why I was speculating that it may be the case that even when we get the positive news, maybe I have a run up to a buck. I remember saying something like that. Maybe it does. I was just making this up just, just, just to try to get an idea across. And maybe it goes back down, and then it goes back up after that. And maybe instead of this happening over a day or two or three, it could instead, uh, it could be the case that this run plays out over a span of weeks or months. And then on top of that, don't you think it might kind of depend on what Bitcoin's doing? Because if Bitcoin is on a tear, and then you have now you have XRP with legal clarity, XRP is much more likely to run insanely higher in terms of price action. And so that's just in a general sense how I've been looking at it. And I want to give you an example of why you should uh, not be feeling despair at this particular moment in time. Folks, it's been a day, okay? So, like, I get it. I understand why people are asking this. But do you guys remember the Ken token? I was talking about this the other day, too. Well, uh, well, last night, Credible Crypto, one of my favorite chart analysts out there, uh, now with uh, 342,600 followers, he started talking about the Ken token, too. And uh, here's what he tweeted out with a Ken token price chart. He said, who remembers Kick and their Ken token? So he's talking about Kick Interactive, of course, and the SEC uh, sued Kick Interactive, uh, making a bunch of nonsense bogus claims about Ken. We've seen all that before, though. 
And then, uh, and then Credible Crypto says, after hitting all-time highs in the 2017 boom, Ken was hit with an SEC lawsuit in June of 2019 for raising $100 million in an unregistered securities offering. Sound familiar? On October 20th, 2020, about 1.5 years later, it hit its all-time low, down 99% from its old all-time high. Three days later, the lawsuit concluded. Yeah, do you remember that, folks? This lawsuit concluded just a couple months before the, uh, the, the SEC v. Ripple uh, lawsuit was filed. So... <laughs> freaking timing of this although it was interesting though because um the first place i remember anybody talking about it was on uh, legal briefs uh with uh jeremy hogan and uh, he was kind of drawing conclusions based on what we actually saw here because it's one of the few real world examples we have here and there was a path forward for ken it still exists today and so many incredible credible crypto says three days later the lawsuit concluded and ken began a mega rally that sent it up over 50x in the six months that followed. This XRP rally is just getting started. Strap in. And so you can see the chart. I mean, it did. So if you're looking here, I'll just pull up the actual. I got Ken on uh, Live Coin Watch here. So this is the all time price chart. And you can see it cratered from its all time high back in uh, early of 2018, just uh, down over 99%. Then you get the legal clarity uh, in October of 2020, right about where I'm highlighting here. And you can see it didn't hit its then all time high immediately over a span of months and months and months. It trended upwards, and then there was a massive rally towards the end. And so he said 50-fold increase. I remember seeing in terms of percentage increases, if memory serves, I think it was close to like a 2,000% increase uh, from the bottom to the top. So, you know, the, the fact that we're seeing this, it's not particularly odd. It's not particularly peculiar. Yes, um, it would have been neat to see people go even more ballistic and just start throwing money at it, right? We would have loved that. It went to $1, $2, whatever, you know, in a single day. But, um, you know, the truth is, it's more reasonable to expect that XRP is going to keep running over time. But yes, it's going to substantially outperform uh, Bitcoin and ETH in terms of multiplier. Right? My God, uh, that, that's my belief anyway. I'm just speculating here. So uh, I'm not telling you, uh, just a regular dude here. That's my unprofessional opinion. Don't go buy or sell anything because of me, but I really firmly believe that. That's my strong suspicion. I placed my bets accordingly here. Now... Credible Crypto, he put out a, a about an hour-long video, just about, and I watched the whole thing today. And it was interesting because like, even for people like me, and, and it would be most of you, like mo most people are not chart analysts and have no desire to be. I, I really have no desire to be. Um, the concepts that he was talking about outside of the TA, it's stuff that the layperson can understand. You know, in terms of consolidation before expansion, so price action moving sideways, consolidating before big moves up, stuff like that. Well, you know... It, even if it's on a lower time frame, short time period, you know, you could be, it looks like you are seeing that right now. So, you know, XRP, you know, there's a pullback. People took some profit after it hit 90 cents and then it went back down a bit. It's not going to go up in a straight line forever, but I don't think that's some sort of indication that we're not going to see fireworks in the future. I think that'd be silly. Now that's got legal clarity and it's the only large cap coin that does. I mean, it's easy to feel defeated when you've been holding XRP for so long and it's been attacked and all that jet. I get it, but it's... I just, I firmly believe it's going to rocket. And so Credible Crypto said, even if, uh, and mind you, Credible Crypto thinks we're going to see a new all-time high for Bitcoin this year, which is a bold prediction. I don't know if it's going to happen. He's putting his neck out there. <laughs> and I respect that because he's bold. He's saying what he believes. And he's just about the only one that uh, believes that's going to happen this year. That's fine. Sometimes minority opinions are correct. But, uh, but anyway, so he, he thinks that even if Bitcoin more or less trades sideways around the $30,000 price level for the next year, he still thinks... That uh, And he gave the reasons why, so watch his video. I, I don't want to do a, a TA breakdown, but uh, he, he did a good job justifying his position. But he said, even if, uh, you know, Bitcoin hovers around where it is, well, you're still going to see XRP probably get to at least $7, you know, you know, when it starts running, whether it's half a year or nine months, whatever it ends up being. And I'm kind of paraphrasing here, but that's the idea that he was sharing. Now, he thinks that if, if you're talking about Bitcoin running to a new all-time high and then XRP in conjunction with that now has legal clarity, you're going to see some serious bursts. It's, it, it's not the case that it had to happen yesterday just because that's when the news broke. It was cool to see something happen. That was, it was fun, right? Didn't you like seeing XRP at 90 cents? I don't mind that. Uh, and uh, he thinks it's not crazy to see a $20 to $30 XRP. If, I mean, he says, though, if you're talking about Bitcoin running up to one, over $100,000. 
So just because it didn't happen right away, it's okay. So maybe we got to be a little bit more patient on this, but we don't have to be patient regarding the SECV Ripple case anymore, do we? That is over. So um, if you're wondering why didn't XRP Rocket hire, because I mean, there is no additional uh, you know, logic to it or rationale. It's just, it's just how people happen to have behaved on a global scale. I just, I don't see a problem with that. And so I kind of understand because a lot of people had higher hopes. And I admitted, like, I didn't know it was going to happen. I just thought, I mean, yes, higher. And so, okay, that part was true, but we all thought that. <laughs> okay, so um, it doesn't mean that we're not going to be seeing $1, $2, $3, $4, or $5 XRP. That's not what this means just because it didn't happen instantly. Let things play out now. And we're, we, what we have here is the perfect storm. If you're talking about entering a bull market, or we're in a bull market now, arguably, with this legal clarity, it's, it's just a matter of time. So I'm just going to sit back and do absolutely nothing because my conviction has never been stronger. I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.